Okay, I'm going to start out uh, with section C, and uh, that's when you first apply power to the aircraft. So, before you apply power to the aircraft, make sure you go check all your wires, make sure the polarity is right, make sure the connectors are plugged into the right connector, and make sure that they're fully seated. And just do that. There's so many connectors on this aircraft, it's really easy to get one wrong. Believe me. Okay, so I don't recommend binding on the ship, especially if it's your first time, but I'm going to go over the binding procedure real quick uh, just because there's a couple things I want to note and you'll want to do it uh, after you get the ship set up. So I'm going to plug the binding uh, jumper into the, the receiver. Then I'm going to apply power to the ship. I'm going to push my binding uh, connector on the back of the transmitter and then turn on my transmitter. Now, if something's wrong and the nacelles are moving very rapidly towards airplane mode and look like they're going to over travel airplane mode, you may want to have someone help you. Just make sure you unplug your battery real quick before it does that because you probably could damage uh, the conversion servo. And then also, just make sure nothing gets all bound up, like all a uh, uh, servo goes hard over and binds up. If it does, just take power off the ship as quickly as possible, and let's try to figure out what's wrong. Uh, if your servos uh, get bound up, it could just be your, your star wheels are in the wrong spot. You may just want to take them loose. Uh, the other thing is that you want your nacelle position in... Uh, helicopter mode because you want your fail safe to set up in helicopter mode and since we haven't really truly set it up yet that after we get done we'll want to rebind the aircraft and reset those fail safes mm -hmm. so I push the button on the back of my transmitter turn my transmitter on I think I let go of the button okay there we go so it's now bound I'm going to unplug my binding connector and I have a bound aircraft. Okay, I wanted to go over real quick, set up the castle speed controls. They're a little bit tricky. Basically, they want you to use your transmitter and the speed control itself to kind of figure out where the real 100% and 0%. The way uh, castle speed controls work is if the first thing it sees there's zero percent throttle it'll arm if the first thing it sees is a hundred percent throttle it'll go into programming mode so by starting it out somewhere in the middle and then going to a hundred percent throttle it'll figure out you'll figure out exactly where a hundred percent throttle is and then vice versa on the idle end so to do that we're gonna have to go into our normal curve and put it back so it looks a little bit more normal and I'm going to go to the full 100% throttle location and turn it to 100% throttle. So now I can, by moving this stick up and down, I can go from 0% throttle to 100% throttle. And then my endpoints, I'm going to make sure for throttle, I've got them set. Throttle is set on about 50 each. So I'm, throttle is 50. So I'm going to give full throttle. And I'm going to set my full throttle endpoint. So when I plug it in, the speed controls going to kind of be in that no man's land. So I'll advance the throttle uh, endpoint, and there they. They just toned, so they just went into programming mode at about 98. And I always give it a couple more, so I'm just going to run 100 there. And now you know exactly where the 100% point is. I'm going to unplug them. I'm going to move my stick to idle, which won't be idle because I got my. I'm going to plug back in my speed controls. Then I'm going to turn up the volume of the idle point until they arm. Mm. 
Okay, 22. I'll give it a couple more there, 24. Now if I uh, crack my throttles, they should come alive. Now, uh, remember that at least when I hooked my motors up, I, I hooked them up both the same, so if one's spinning backwards, you want to just swap the two wires, two, two of the wires on the motor and get it spinning in the right direction. And that gets your speed control set up. Okay, so go then go back into uh, your throttle curve, normal throttle curve, and uh, go back to that 100% point and dial that all the way back to zero. Now that finishes your uh, speed control setup.